Hello there, this is Polar Gaming 22 coming to you with another episode of House Flipper. Let's do this. Hopefully maybe we can look at buying a house and actually flipping a house and not just doing everybody's chore list. Oh yeah, I just realized that you can wash your house with this in the last episode. Those are the time comes that we can start installing siding to be able to fix up our house. Small lawn and pool, walls to knock down, students' house clean up. Save me from these horrible colors, honey. Let's do these walls to knock down. Wait, how much money do we have? Oh, 50 grand. It's a good house. So we could buy something like this soon. Almost a garden. The heck? Some sort of torture chamber. These are really nice houses. Oh, look at this. This is a cool house. Oh, and there's a castle and a house on the moon. Man, we gotta put a lot of work in before we can do that. Alright, well, let's walk, knock these walls down for this guy. Oh, nice basic looking house. Oh, so he wants us to knock these walls down. <laughs> just, just smash the wall with the light switch on it. There's no electrocution isn't really He's going for the open concept, and I think that's what people like nowadays, is this open concept.
Let's see what that new skill is. Upgrade the hammer. Oh, look at that. Well, that's a hammer. Oh, we're supposed to be taking all this out. Seems like we're all lost. Just, we don't even move the furniture out, let's just demo run the furniture. Yeah, I'll move the couch there. I'll at least have the decency to move the couch. As for your kitchen cabinets, well, that's on you to replace those. Those will be extra. I definitely can say I do like the more open feel. Now you just be sitting there chilling, watching TV. Paint with the color sleepy blue. Don't make do anything to your bathroom. No. Alright, well, we'll just do what this guy asks. It'll be quicker to do this so we can get the money. Let's do the um, muscle strength. Medium. Yeah, we'll go with medium can. Oh, this is not really that big of a room. Time for more relaxing. Relaxing and satisfacting. Satisfactory. Satisfaction. That's what I should say. Let me correct myself there. More satisfactory work. It's a nice blue. I wouldn't put it in my walls, but hey. This ain't my house, I'm just gonna pay to do a job. And pay to do a job by a guy. We'll just paint behind the cabinet. We got a little paint on it. Yo, know, is there a reflection in there? No, I was just gonna say.
Honestly, you would have to probably, if you wanted to paint this correctly, you would have to remove the radiator, all the furniture out of the room. But here at Bob's Discount Contracting, we are... Not about any of that. We you get your walls painted for you. And that's that. to say painting for me oh well, we actually ran out of paint at the first I to get another can as back to what I was saying painting for me is like a love-hate relationship I like painting and I don't like painting I can get a lot done with painting Pretty good at painting. But at the same time, I don't like painting if it's tedious or if I have to paint the ceiling. I had to paint the ceiling in my parents' kitchen, if I haven't already said that, told that story. Let me tell you, that was not fun. If you want to truly know what hell on earth is, paint the ceiling in a room. <laughs> oh, look at that. Six grand, that wasn't a very high end job. It says blonde hair guy, my office should be my. Take that. Oh god. This looks horrible. Dude, you got like mold going in your garage. I like the garage door animations in this game. Very realistic. Wait, let's see if we can wash this car from in here. Okay. <laughs> windows dirty for another side. And he's like, why are you washing the window like that? Let's all just start charging this guy for unnecessary work. And I'll be like, I didn't ask you to do any of that. I just asked you to come and clean up my garage. See, these are my least favorite jobs in Teardown, or not Teardown, it's a completely different game that I've been playing. House Flipper. This is a nasty garage.
like how you can watch tri Tyler, Tyler, tire tracks out of the concrete. I guess if they're dirt tire tracks, they'd come out. I just could have thought of something. Got a little pressure washer simulator going on here. This guy is just lazy and he just wants to pay somebody to do his job for him. We'll open up. Can we open up these windows? No, they're not the kind that open up. I would literally just let this black stuff, whatever this stuff is, looks like mold. So that was his saying in the last video, what other games would you like to see me play besides House Flipper? I thought about doing a couple of videos on this game in Poppy Playtime. Everybody talks about that game, so... I have played it, so it is a pretty enjoyable game. But would you want me to do like a... Got all the dirt. A silent playthrough of said games like that? Or would you want me to do a narrated playthrough? Let me know in the comments section below and we'll see. Oh, this is even worse. This guy's got like an unreasonable amount of tires. So just do like in the Simpsons have that tire fire. Slide on fire in his backyard. Just threw out his garbage can. I could just picture this garage smelling like a musty old house. So we just leave it like that. You said the garage. That back part doesn't count as your garage. Oh, this is really bad back here. It's also got green stuff on there.
God just nasty. For organization, I'll leave that on you. But I do need to do one thing. I need to pull that guy's car back in the garage. Hopefully he owes up to pay that extra spend of money on his car. whole whopping eight grand. Could you imagine getting eight grand for cleaning up someone's garage? Then everybody would be cleaning up people's garages. Be a lot, lot less messy garages in this world. Ebenezer Scrooge. If an Ebenezer Scrooge needs some work done to his house. Now let's do this one. I haven't had my home in a while and it's gone a bit overgrown. I got no time for mowing, especially because the plot is quite large. Alright. Oh, this is a nice house. I mean, yeah, definitely a big yard. Before we start mowing, let's It's good if we got the lawnmower, that means we can actually finally mow our grass. 
back at home. front part and then clean it up again. Yeah, no kidding, this is over the one. I'm surprised you didn't get the homeowners association call on you, but judging by the rest of these lines, nobody knows in this neighborhood. Probably because I'm going to be doing it all. If I'm mowing all your lawns and charging you double the rate, I can play the felt to do that in certain areas. This looks good though. I think. You'd want to weed around the concrete anyways. small rate for trees. Charging this guy two grand to mow his grass, I could better look good. <laughs> Bills for just climbing higher. Think about it though, you mow grass this high. I really think about it. 
it would be really hard to make a break out of the fish water just because of the height of it. Be bogging the thing down so much. And off it's an electric one, it'd be even worse because you'll just burn some more juice. Imagine mowing the lawn, the lawnmower's not that loud and there's just a little bit singing the wind. I remember I used to get up at like 7 in the morning and start mowing the lawn by 8. And I'd have it done before 10 o'clock at my parents' house. Yes, it warms my heart too. I just wish I owned my own house just to mow the grass. Dig the pool out by hand. Do you imagine how much work that would take? I mean, it could be done. That's it. Wow. this job, probably the next job. <laughs> <laughs> 